This fair has been sort of years in the thinking, a couple of years in the making. And I've always wanted to, to create a fair in Sydney that was very Sydney. But I think it's a very sexy city. You have some of the best restaurants in the world, in my opinion. You've got a fantastic landscape. You've got the sea. Uh, you've got some fantastic museums here. I'd love to do more to integrate the city. And finding the right venue was always very important. And so Carriage Works is a stunning backdrop. It's a con very contemporary venue for a contemporary fair. We run art fairs very much for the, for the audience. We want them to have a really enjoyable experience. And I think this building just puts you in a good frame of mind. I see people smiling and enjoying it and just looking around and looking up at some of the, the architectural stuff. So I think it's a, it's a perfect combination. To kick off the, the first night and the first day, Sydney came out in strength. Uh, many, many thousands of people and many thousands more than we thought. Uh, and I think it showed the real the desire of Sydney siders to have a great art fair. And I think they wanted to see it and they sure they came out and supported it. Uh, I've always said that the audience is it's a pyramid. At the top end of the pyramid, you know, you have the collectors and the collector base in Australia is somewhere probably between 500 and 1,000. And then the next tier down are the kind of wealthy individuals that are probably more art buyers than collectors. So they'll buy one or two pieces but never deem themselves to be collectors. And then the third tier, just really the general public who love coming to an art fair, like they love going to a museum or any art environment, and they may get tempted to buy works on paper or print. So it's, it's, it's the whole lot really, it's that mix, and we make sure that we do different things to target those different people. And I wanted to bring in some of the elements that we kind of developed in Hong Kong, uh, which was international, so we bought in you know, 35% of our galleries are from outside of Australia, which is, is great. The talks program, there's some really interesting things. We tried to make them fairly broad, broad basis for the general public. Sales were great last night. Um, it's quite interesting that people are quite considered. This morning, that quite a few people that came last night have come back to purchase. Uh, sales were made last night, which is fantastic. Really pleased to see a lovely piece that's on uh, the drawing room from Manila. It's the first time they've been in Australia. They sold that. Um, great interest in the Gilbert and George piece from De Saar, the game from over there from Hong Kong. Never been here before. So it's really good to see the interest, and I think that's going to build over the weekend. I've always maintained that what an art fair does is it creates its own market and you've got this sort of massive promotion that goes on around the time of the fair and suddenly all these thousands of people come to the fair and sales happen. So I think in a way it stimulates the market. This will always be a fair about quality rather than quantity. It's never going to be a rival to Art Basel Hong Kong and neither should it be. But I see it as a very significant fair in the region. Um, I see it as a very great, great partner to the Melbourne Art Fair, which we're also involved with. Um, and the lovely thing is it'll have a very Sydney character. And I think that's kind of how I, where, where I see it going.